Hello, this is Antique Alicia. It is day 38. Day 38, wow. And um, this is a glimpse into my own university. I'm the CEO and founder of Your Own University where um, we really help you take your life to the next level, me and a whole bunch of coaches from around the world. And um, this is my practice below here. You can join in the challenge if you'd like. And um, today is 38 of me recording recording these. And today what came up for me was a shift. So precious moments was my theme. And you know, hugging and loving and, and preparing um, a transition in, in my family life was was really my focus today. And just being really present with my my girls and we had a great lunch and and then we had to clean <laughs> and uh, and we had to talk about trust you know it was a lot of parenting today and but the the over the overriding thing that came up as I close my eyes to just like feel it is this emotion of grief that I was feeling and a little bit of sadness because of this transition. And at the same time, these are the exact things, the negative feelings, these not so warm and fuzzy feelings, these, you know, anger and grief and sadness and depression and, and fear and anxiety and all of these emotions, um, failure, um, death even, like just, ugh, um, out of control. I mean, all of these emotions, right, that we have, we, if they don't feel good, we tend to try to cover them up, I find, and, and not feel them. When in reality, all they want is to be felt, felt, <laughs> felt. <laughs> all they want is to be felt. And once we feel them without being angry or meanie making, as I call it in the Amazing You program, without making a meaning all around it, we find some wisdom, some okayness, acceptance in whatever emotion you're feeling. And that acceptance, that awareness of, oh, I am feeling this vibration, I'm feeling this sense, I'm, it, maybe it attaches to uh, actual emotion like mine was grieving, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're just feeling kind of blah. I know um, my youngest daughter said that she was just feeling blah. She just had a day where she just, she wasn't feeling like herself. She was just feeling blah. And, you know, so I asked her, like, what did that feel like? What does blah feel like? And she kind of explained this um, tiredness and crankiness and she didn't know why. And then we just sat with it for a minute. And probably, you know, probably a half hour later or something like that, she's like, oh, well now it's gone. Like it had hung around all day and she was fighting it and didn't like it and wasn't liking it and wasn't happy with it and didn't want to feel that way. And then the second that she actually talked about it and felt it um, and witnessed it for what it was, it pretty much vanished for her, which is pretty awesome. And I find that the same goes. So I sat with this grief. I didn't make myself wrong. I didn't push it away. I didn't make it mean I was gonna be depressed forever, or was gonna ruin my day or anything. I didn't give it that power. I just sat with it and allowed myself to sit with it. I reached out to a couple friends just to witness it in myself. I um, recognized that I wanted to just, you know, avoid it and how I wanted to avoid it. And uh, then I sat with it and it, it lifted. It lifted and then I got to go and just enjoy a wonderful evening with a great friend and uh, watch Johnny Depp and chocolate and uh, 
it was it was fun and have some great wine thank you Jen we drank your wine last night from your winery it was amazing if you're watching this and um, you know it was just it was a really beautiful beautiful night and beautiful day of transition and not running away from those not so comfortable feelings sometimes and allowing it to lift and shift so hopefully if you're having a blah day this will give you a little bit of freedom tomorrow is um, the 4th of July here in the US um, this will post on the 4th of July in the US so happy 4th of July everybody because I'll post it that day and um, have an amazing an amazing adventure in creating your own freedom through acceptance and really being okay with how you're feeling and allowing yourself to really feel it so it can move beyond your cells, beyond your mind. And we can then feel better things, decide what you do want. Anyway, love you much.